Hello everybody, this is Yo. Hi guys, in this video today, I am going to be talking about the new products that I am displaying behind me when everybody's actually reviewing last year. I just wanted to share what products I bought in this year in 2019. New Fresh Mind, new diary, new clothing, new beauty products, all that kind of thing. So I thought you would like this video. So without further ado, let's get on with it now. Oops, the candle's gone. I didn't know that. Sorry about that. Just going to tell you my experience so far. Some of the products I have used a lot. Some of the products I only use like once or twice, so I'm just going to tell you the first impression also. So yeah, so the first thing maybe I am going to talk about this particular lipstick that I got from La La Blur. This one is called Linger and it's in shade Kiss Me. That's the lipstick I'm wearing at the moment as well. I really, really do love this color so much. You know, usually I prefer uh, lip mousse or lip velvet liquid and things like that but this time I discovered this new brand and I instantly fell in love. I love it so much it just like perfect pink that I was looking for. Real pink but a bit of like light purple in it and this is exactly what I was looking for so I really really do love it. My purple top and this lip goes quite well as well so really really good decision I think. I might get another shade as I nailed it so well for the first time so yeah. Well <laughs> you might think it's a little too much too often that I mention this brand but I just love it so much just bear with me for a second all right. <laughs> Bia Last Velvet Lip Tint number 17. So this flowery uh, collection I never ever experienced. I already have three different shades but I didn't get anything from this line so I finally got it. I'm very very happy about it. I didn't even hesitate when I picked this up and I was right. It's Skin. It's Skin Power 10 Formula WR Effector GF Effector. I actually got this one at the end of December but I kind of stopped it um, until two days ago because I had other products that I had to use but I have gone back to them now. I've got two different formulations as you can see. One of them is for dehydration and another one is for winkle care. So what I do is I use this one in the morning because usually in the morning my skin is too thirsty so I use that in the morning. And then I use this one at night time. I always feel like when I use anti-aging products at night, it kind of will work better whilst I am asleep. I think they have a, I don't know, 10 different types, lots of types, vitamins, whitening, uh, travel care, all those things. Yeah, this is my new serum that is called Logically Skin. Aquatide Resurface Serum. The first impression of this serum was clean and very healthy and looking very very fresh here. So the first impression was really good and I like the name of the product as well, Logically Skin. I feel like it's logically made or something so I really like the name to start with. To jump to the conclusion, it helps reducing wrinkles and lifting and whitening as well. Whitening, I am not sure yet because I have been using it only two weeks now but I feel definitely brighter rather than whitening. I'm like trying to show you how my skin is like active. Aquatize special mechanism for anti-aging which activates the skin to replace aging factors with nutrients. I was never explained this kind of thing before so if you're looking for some not new like newer anti-aging products then please check this out. Misha Near Skin pH Balancing Cleansing Oil. They always do this top 100 products that were most selling in that year. So they did that last year and they did that the year before as well. When they did that, I obviously couldn't just pass it, could I? So I popped in and that was, you know, calling me. I really like it so far, to be honest. It does remove my makeup quite well and it's not oily. I guess heavy is the right word rather than oil because it's actually oil so I can't say it's not oily because it doesn't make any sense. 
It does say that it's very mild texture. No wonder why I feel like it's not strong texture, you see. So if you're looking for not heavy and mild and subacid cleansing oil, then I would really recommend you this. Misha Aqua Teptide Customizing Toner. To be frank, I have only used it twice, so I can't really give you the proper review review. Nothing too special or nothing too particular, but nothing too bad either. Um, I'm not really fussy when it comes to toner, I have to tell you. I check a very basic explanations like dermatologically tested, so what could be bad about it? Nature Republic by Flower Auto Eyebrow Number no. 3 Ash Mocha. A lot of YouTubers are uh, gung ho about this pencil, but I always had a doubt. This time I got it and I love it. I mean, why am I so late for this? <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's hard formula, but it's not that soft formula either. It's something in between. My forehead is quite oily, so sometimes my eyebrows can be removed really quickly whereas this one i found it it does last longer than other things which is really really good this one is as you can see is puff and it's got five things in it and i got it from emart so every time i pass emart those like no brand section it was always there if you ask me the review it's nothing too bad it's nothing too amazing it's kind of average i used to use lots of daiso pub the daiso ones are very solid I think whereas this one is quite softer so if you don't like softer versions like this then I wouldn't recommend you but if you like to use softer ones then yes I think this will work Jo Malone yes 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 I got this one from Jo Malone's Christmas event I got this one as a gift it's called Jo Malone London white moss and snowdrop Colong. When it's summer or spring, I like to use more like a citrus type, whereas for winter, I like to use like oody, smoky, that kind of type. And this is what it is. It's kind of like a burn, burn candles also. It's really, really lovely scent. I never saw Jo Malone goes wrong when people give them to someone as a present. I never really see anyone went wrong. So I'm going to end up this video now. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.